Right guys, here we are. Welcome back to another episode of Cam Does Carry and another unboxing video for you here today. And it is the one we've all been waiting for, the Boundary Supply Errant Pack. It has arrived. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's here. Now you'll see if I open it up that it's not a proper unboxing because they are unboxed. Now I think... Um, other errant pack backers will understand when I say when this arrived at work today at lunchtime I just had to open it and like touch it feel it and see what it was like straight out of the box um, I couldn't wait until I had time to do a proper unboxing video because we have waited so long for this and it's been uh, quite the ordeal so um, um, please forgive me for for taking them out of the bags um, but I haven't pulled them apart and opened them all up and everything so um, so it is a proper unboxing in that regard I haven't looked at it or played with the features but I just had to take it out of the package and just see it and and touch it and feel it uh, for myself because uh, this has been a long time coming right, so we'll put the port kit to the side just for the moment and we'll get out the errand pack. It feels really, really strong to start off with. Um, just a, a word on the packaging, recyclable or decompostable, biodegradable um, cassava packaging and a really nice box. So that's very good. Thank you, Boundary Supply. Would have liked the bag a bit sooner, but that's fine. We're over that now. I won't say anything more about it. All right, the air pack. Wow, here it is. This is the slate blue version, and I really like it. I like that it's a bit darker than it looked in the original photos um, on the Kickstarter campaign. So it's really nice color. I do like it. Um, very, very nice and good materials as always. Really nice uh, Kodra, I think it is. Or could Cordura on the sides, the Hyperlon through here. Very tough feeling, very strong feeling. Now, very thick straps. Wow, very, very thick straps. Um, cool. All right. Let's we start. It's exciting. It's like Christmas. Um, okay, let's start with the straps all on the back here. So, like I said, really strong. This feels sturdy. I mean, I'm not a big connoisseur of the grab handles. I know other people are really into them, but it's quite simple, this one. Not super padded, but for me, that's okay. I don't carry backpacks by their grab handle very much. Um, as I said, down through the straps, very thick. They're really thick feeling, very not spongy, spongy is the wrong word, but um, you know, sturdy but soft. Um, so looking forward to testing them out. Just some loops here, you can attach something to. I have seen online some people have found that the sternum strap, which has the magnetic feedlock buckle, which is pretty cool, that, uh, that these fall out of the daisy chain straps very easily. Um, these ones, and we'll have to see when I test it out, of course, but I can't see them falling out that easily. I mean, it's, it's easy enough to get out if I wanted to, but... Um, okay, so that's a sternum strap. I have the, the waist strap. Again, I'm not a big waist belt wearer, uh, but this one does look like it would be, I don't know, maybe to do something. It's pretty skinny. Not a magnetic buckle, just a normal plastic buckle, but feels strong, so that's good. And I like how it's actually clipped on rather than just a G-hook on these lash points here. I like how it's an actual clip. That's very good. But again, I'm probably going to be taking this straight off and tucking it away. Um, and then we have the pass 
through strap here. So that's this one's to strap down your um, your yeah, just like that to tie down the harness if you're checking the bag or carrying it in briefcase mode. Um, again, I don't see myself using this very often, but I do like that it's um, got its own little pocket here. There we go. So it can just be hidden away into there, and that's probably where I'll put the sternum strap and the waist belt, to be honest. Um, assuming that they fit properly, because it feels like quite a large pocket in there. It's, it's not deep, it's only about that deep on my fingers, if you can see that. Um, but it goes quite a way down, like almost to the bottom of the bag. Um, so there is quite a bit of space in there, so I think that's where I'll be putting the straps when I'm not using them, um, which is good. It velcros in. Um, the back padding. Ooh, can you hear that? Very rigid, altered foam. Um, I think that's going to be really comfortable. We'll test it out again, but it feels really, really firm and very, very rigid back panelling, which I really like, and I really liked on the Prima system as well. So I think this will be very good. Okay, over to the hidden passport pocket. I like that that zip flaps down, if you can see it. So it's not going to stick up and get onto your back. Um, not a very big opening, but I guess it's only supposed to be for your passport. But really quite deep, and that's you can fit your whole hand in there if you can see that, which is bigger than I expected. So plenty big enough for your passport, I guess. So that's sort of the size of the pocket. So it's quite deep. Um, nice little grab handle, fine. No issues from me. Can't see any sort of loose stitching or anything around the side. Very good. Um, all right. On to the front. Um, sorry, let's go to the side actually. So, water bottle pocket here. Um, got the, the elastic loop there, so you should be able to fit quite a large bottle in there. We'll check it out. Uh, flash points there if you do have something taller in the water bottle pocket. Um, again, I probably won't use that very much, so I'll probably, I don't know, try and hide it away. Oh yes, it does have a little, little hideaway pouch in there. Um, so I, I, I like a, a quite minimal bag, so I'll probably hide that strap away also, because I usually just carry a water bottle, I don't have anything uh, too much bigger in there like a tripod, but nice that it is there if I ever do need it. All right, and this side's just, oh, this side has the commuter pocket, sorry. I forgot all about that one. So this is supposed to be your quick access pocket or your main quick access pocket. Um, it does have the zipper garage at the top to keep water out of the AquaGuard zipper, which is very nice, YKK. Feels good. I think that would be very water resistant. And quite a large pocket, but of course it goes into the bag. So if you're really packed out the inside of the bag here, then you know you're going to lose quite a bit of space in this pocket, and vice versa. If you really pack out this pocket, you're gonna lose your space in the middle. So we'll see. Um, but Looks like it has quite a few sleeves in there. It's got uh, one, two pen loops, a little bit bigger one. It's got your magnetic clip up the top for uh, the extra accessory that it is. A shame it doesn't come with the bag, but it did come with the Prima System little key ring loop that you can clip into there. So I'll be taking that from my Prima System and trying it out in there. But otherwise, looks like I would be able to fit quite a lot of stuff in this pocket. So that's the main quick access pocket, the commuter pocket. Alright, now this has been one of the main 
contentious points of the bag is the magnetic opening point here for the main top flap. So zipped up at the moment, you can see it's got the big YKK zipper underneath there and then the magnets to close the top flap properly. So that one didn't close. There we go. Nope. Close now? Yes, okay. So I think that's gonna take some fiddling. Let's let's see. There we go. Okay, that was a bit easier. I don't know if you can really see that. I'm trying to get it on the shot. So I'm open it up. And. Oh, hmm, doesn't seem so easy. I am trying to do this one handed. So maybe if I. See if I go like that. Still didn't work. So this one is not going in so easily. So that's something I'm going to have to play with and see how it works in real life. Um, I like the concept, but yeah, we'll just have to wait and see how it uh, how it actually pans out in use. So anyway, here's the next quick access pocket that isn't all that quick access. I tend to feel um, if it's underneath this flap, so you got to go open and then open the pocket so it's not uh, not really a full quick access pocket but um, actually quite deep like it's going in the size of my hand so sort of that long um, but I don't know sunglasses I think was what they were mainly intending for and it is quite I wouldn't call it soft, but um, but this nywool material, so it's not going to scratch your glasses. But it's not it's not like a really cushy, soft material. But you know, I think it'd be fine. But really flat items, like you wouldn't be be fitting your computer charger or something in there. I think that would be too bulky to fit in. Really flat items. All right, zipper. Okay, there we go. Alright, so here's the opening. And I'm not sure if you'll be able to see in, in the light, but it's got the magnetic attachment points there for the uh, the camera compartment that they had that I didn't buy, the CB1, I think it was called. But what I am planning on putting in there is the port kit or the um, the Cordura side of the port kit. So that should, yeah, nice. So it just clips in there and then that will be my sort of daily cable tech pouch is the idea. So we'll see how that works with usage again, but uh, but yeah, I really like how that's put into there. Very nice. A Couple of other lash points underneath there. You can see boundary logo, nice. Um, and then a couple of other clip points here. I don't know. I wonder actually, and maybe somebody else has already tried this. If you have, please let me know if the Verge case from the Prima system is able to clip onto to these poppers there. I don't know. It could be interesting to try out. I'll have to remember that when I'm using it. Yeah, there we go. Main access. And you can you just try and push it out a little bit. It's uh, just the black hole down into there, so not a huge bag as you can see, but I think for me it'll be plenty big enough, certainly more than what I need for an everyday carry bag, and maybe a minimal travel bag. We'll see. We'll get to that. Alright, so let's see how these close up. Nope, nope, nope. There you go. All right, let's see, see how that works. All right, let's get into the main compartment. So zips, 
up the top here. And yep, so there, see how this one has stopped that? So if I was on the go and the bag was sitting up like that and I didn't want the whole back panel to fall open, then this has stopped the zipper. So smart design, I do like that. So let's get that one little magnetic do the off. Ooh. There we go. That will get easier with time, I'm sure. Alright, there we go. Alright, firstly, this is your laptop side. So really rigid on the back. You can feel it's really well protected. Nothing's going to get at your laptop. It's going to be A-OK -okay in there. Um, but three levels of storage on this back panelling. So you've got your main laptop is into there. And again, it's lined with that nywool, so no scratching. And another magnet there for your tablet sleeve. So that's... Hmm, so many magnets. There we go. So double layer of magnets as well. So magnet one for your laptop into there, magnet two for your tablet into there. Again, we'll see how that is in use. And then these two stretchy mesh pockets for whatever can fit in there, I guess. I'm guessing that it'll have to be mostly flat things, not too, I and mean, it can stretch out quite a ways, but nothing too bulky in there because whatever goes in there will be pressing up against whatever is stored into here. So that may cause the necessity to have something mostly flat in that one there. So we'll see. All right, now, one of the other big things that uh, people were discovering when the errands first started getting delivered was that they weren't fitting their laptops. Um, so here is my chunky ass Dell 15 inch work laptop that uh, you may have also seen in my Coda Bell Crosspack Pro unboxing. So while it's, it's a 15 inch laptop, so it's not so big that way, but as you can see, it's super big that way. This is way thicker than most people's laptops. So let's have a look and see how it fits. Dun, 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 dun. It fits good. It fits good. All right, but because it's so thick, yep. There's not too much give on the, the magnetic lock-in strap there, but it does fit good. We'll, um, let's try and zip it up now, just to make sure that all is okay. And yep. No problems there. So, a really chunky 15 inch Dell is fitting in, not a problem at all. So, whether that um, puts your mind at ease about your laptop, I don't know, but for me, all good. Let's get that out. There we go. That's the back panelling, and again, really, really thick, really protected. Now into the other sides, it's your main storage compartment. Have your... another stretch mesh pocket up the top for knickknacks, odds and ends. Again, quite flat things, and this does stretch a bit, but it's it doesn't have any dimension of its own other than the stretch of the material. So uh, you wouldn't be putting big bulky things in there, just little flat things, cables, headphones, that sort of thing is what I imagine that would be best used for. And because it's at the very top of the bag, I think that will actually be quite accessible because you'll just be able to unzip, open, just get into something there. So good. Um, 
you can see right up into the top of the bag that's where the port kit was was just tucked up back into there so we'll see how that works out if I'm trying to pack more stuff un underneath there it's not super high in here or long as long the better term and I'll just get a ruler and so from the bottom here to the bottom of the stretchy mesh pocket there it's 23 centimeters so less than a foot of space in there 23 centimeters um, so whether that means anything to you maybe it will maybe it won't I think for me that'll be just big enough to fit a packing cube in there um, if I'm going minimal traveling or short journey traveling but again I guess that depends on how much you pack out these sides but it, it can go reasonably deep if you push up the sides so like that that's you know 14 15 centimeters so I've said about half a foot I think for those in the US and Canada um, so but then I guess you do need to take into consideration that that space there is going to be taken up also partly by what is in the laptop side so we'll just have to wait and see how it uh, plays out in packing I guess but uh, moving on we have the two other mesh and elastic sided storage pockets on the side so I'll probably I'm thinking I'll use that for laptop charger um, don't know something we'll see we'll work it out um, but good to have them in there and they just if you don't want to use them then they don't take up any space so so I think they're a really good addition um, it's got the velcro on the back for the camera case the mk2 I think it was that 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 would fit directly into there I don't have that um, but it's the, the nice modularity of the boundary supply systems that I do really like. And then we have the pocket of the um, the shoe compartment at the bottom. So as you can see, it does go up into the main compartment of the bag, but not very much. It's not a big compartment at all. So if I just... Just took off my shoe. So here is a shoe. It's a size size 10 US, size 9 UK. Let's see how it fits into the bottom. Um, and again, really well protected, I would say, like really strong hypalon on the bottom here. That's super waterproof, I would say. And then the AquaGuard YKK zip around the side and all seam sealed on the inside waterproof material so whatever you're putting into this pocket here whether it's shoes or wet clothes or stinky gym gear i think it's going to be very well kept so size 10 us size 9 uk shoe um, and it will just fit in lengthwise and if you try to fit it in that way it will not go all the way so this is a pretty pretty flexy shoe so it'll be able to cram in easily enough so not a problem but if it was a big hiking boot or if you had bigger feet then you know you might be struggling so each to their own for the shoe compartment I think yeah but for me probably okay let's get that back up again let's get that shoe out of the way but again if you're not using that it just rolls away to, to nothing really it's not going to take up any room in the bag so there but no 
no issues that I've seen, no loose stitching, no, no problems. Uh, yep, I, I think this is going to be great. Um, I think that's all the features. Maybe I missed something. Let me know if I missed something. But, well, it's here. I'm really happy so far. I can't wait to use it. We will see. So anyway, I will use this for a while. I will do a review. I will probably do a comparison between the Prima system and the Aaron pack as well, if that's something you're interested in, because uh, I do really like my Prima system as well. So I think that might be interesting. So if you that is something that you would like to see, let me know in the comments below. Um, if you have any questions on the bag, let me know if there's something I missed. I'm um, more than happy to answer any questions that you have. Um, but yeah, so far, happy. Okay, that's it. Whew, that's been long. If you want to see more of these videos, or if you want to see the follow-up videos on the Aaron Pack, make sure you hit subscribe so you're notified as soon as they come out. Hit the like button if you like this. This has been Cam Does Carry with the Boundary Supply Errant Pack, and I will see you all next time.